Okay. What's up, bro? Uh, I want to. The first question is, man, for Stoller, Clark Crawford, and Josh right. Taylor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Are you looking to outperform them Saturday night? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> of course. You know, but I'm not going to force it. I'm looking looking forward to mainly just executing what my corner tell me to do. When I execute that, um, I'm getting guaranteed results. Right. I'm fine with that. All right, Josh Taylor is the undisputed champion. Is that what you're gunning for after, after and do you think that you are ready for that type of challenge? Of course, I mean, I, I believe I'm ready now, to be honest, but it's not about me being readiness. It's not about who I will, what I should is. Um, it just takes time, you know? It takes time to get to these these stellar opponents. You know, they got the credentials that they got because they done paid the long road. And they got these titles and they're sanctioned, certain sanctioned bodies and stuff like that because they took the journey. This is part of my journey. Whoever's in my way right now, they just gotta deal with it, you know. But ultimately, I'm I'm gunning to take these belts. I'm gunning to clean out the 140 division. So like we got a couple of fights coming up, man. I just want to get your prediction on it with, and, your, and your take on it. We got uh, Earl Spence and Ugas. What do you think about that one? Man? I'm going with Earl. Okay. You know, Earl, he's too strong. Uh, muscle memory. He's been doing it a long time. Uh, skill wise, they say fundamentals. Can, can beat a lot of things. And I believe that he mastered the skill of having his fundamentals down pat. You know, he don't do a lot of extraordinary stuff, I mean, extreme stuff, you know, nothing out of the far-fetched range. But what he do does is he sound. He sound in what he does. And it's simplicity. You know, simplicity can, can win you the fight every time. All right, we got, we got Charlo versus Castano. Charlo, he's got a lot of tenacity in the world. Um, he's a strong competitor. You know, he's physically strong. You know, mentally, he's driven. He don't like to mess up. You know, he try to be a perfect fighter if he can. You know, but um, if I had to choose between the two, that's definitely who I go with. I go with Charlo. All right, then last but not least, I ain't gonna hold you up, man. We got Tyson Fury and Dylan White. Sad to say, I got Tyson Fury, man. He, he can move. He can move. Can't well, take nothing away from him. Well, listen, man. What do you want to leave with your boxing fans? What's, 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 what's the words you want to give to your fans and boxing fans all around the world? You're a rising star. Like Definitely, you said, you're a superstar. I'm a superstar what, what do you want to leave with your fans, bro? I want to leave y'all with this. I got a clothing brand that's about to come out after I book this boy. Uh, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. So we must live in the present. <laughs> and whenever y'all see me performing, don't ever underestimate me. Y'all don't underestimate the sun for doing what it do. Y'all just wake up and expect it to shine. So when y'all see me, expect me to shine. All right, y'all heard it here first.